how's it going? Um, we've done three videos so far digging deeper into the basic five open chords, the caged chords, C, um, A, G, E, D. And so far we've done D, A, and E. And now I'm going to uh, um, dig a little deeper into the G chord. Um, and one of the things about the G chord and the C chord that makes it a little bit more difficult to play in minor keys is that some ways you play this chord um, both of those chords, you're going to have two thirds or two, uh, yeah, two thirds in it, um, which means that that's where you get your major minor tonality. And so, if you're going to take um, a major chord and make it minor, you have to take the third and move it down a half step. And if you have two of them, that means you have to do it twice, and that makes it difficult. Um, so you'll we'll we'll see some of that unfold as I go into the G chord. Now, there's four different G chords that I'm going to show you. Just the basic G chord. And uh, the one I use the most is this one, and it's um, basically on the, um, I'm going to give you the, the fret numbers where my fingers are. Uh, the diagram is going to have um, the fingerings, so the number, first number you'll see is the fingerings, and then you'll have the letter note names, and then you'll have what notes those are in relation to the chord. In other words, root, third, fifth, seventh, whatever. Okay. So, uh, the first one is just basically your basic G chord, and uh, it's third, second, open, open, third, third. Uh, and this one only has one third in it, right here, down here at the bottom. A little bit of a muddy chord. Okay, to have the triad way down there is a little muddy, so sometimes when I'm playing a G chord, I will take that finger off and then deaden that string with my, my second finger, and that will allow it to be a little brighter of a chord. However, the problem with this chord is there's no third in it. So, in, in some ways it's good because you could use this as a G minor substitute and you could use it as a G major substitute because there's no third in it, which would uh, deem it a major or minor. You just have a G, a D, a G, a D, a G. So it's all root, fifth, root, fifth, root. Okay, no thirds. Okay, now another way you can play G is probably the way you learned it at first, which is with the first three fingers, three, two, zero, 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 and then uh, three with the third finger, okay? And that's that's kind of the old school way of G chord. That's probably how anything prior to like late 70s is probably how they played that G chord or often. Um, and the same thing applies, since you already have a B here, since you already have a third on the second string, you can just take off that first finger and, and play it with these. If you mute that string, you gotta have that A string dead. And that would be a little bit less muddy, and it makes your first finger available, so if you want to... Just swapping out these fingers and putting the third and fourth finger here. Okay, so uh, so there's the four G chords. Again, um, the full four finger version, taking off the first finger to get rid of the third and deadening that string. Okay, the old school way, and then taking off the first finger on the old school way. Okay, those are our four chords. Now, I'll tell you why I point this out. Um, I, I do a lot of session work, and um, sometimes I'm playing, um, I'm supposed to sound like it's an old school kind of uh, uh, recording or a, uh, a throwback song or something like that, or if I want to get an old-timey sound, um, I will play G chord like this. I'll give you an example. I did a um, remake of Hey Jude, for St. Jude, and I'll, I'll put a link down below, you can you can hear it. Um, I co-produced it, and it was basically the idea was uh, for St. Jude's Hospital to have a bunch of celebrities sing Hey Jude, um, and uh, and that's what they did. So I, when I recorded that, I used my other Gibson, uh, my Gibson folk singer, the one with the missing pick guard, and um, we ran, we mic'd it acoustically, but then ran it through an amp as well. Um, and then mic'd it because I, I couldn't get the guitar sound from that record. And I, I remembered that the Beatles played the Gibsons with the pickups, the, I think with those J, uh, I don't know, I'm so bad at that stuff. But they had the pickup, and I, I imagine they probably ran it through a, a Fender amp or something and then mic'd it. Um, I, I'm not exactly sure about that, but that's what we did. And when I played a G chord in that in that arrangement, and I can't remember if we capoed or what, but I used the open, this, this kind of old school G. So it kind of comes in handy that way. Okay, so now let's start digging into some of these uh, other other iterations of the G chord. So um, if you go back to this one, um, G sus would be taking the third up a half step. 
Okay, so we go with three sus four. So another term for G sus would be G suspended fourth or G sus four. And probably the, the best way to do that one is going to be this way here. So or you can take it like this. So it'd be uh, three nothing uh, open open one three. That's G sus, and that wants to result to G. Also do I could also add the six on there at the same time and so that would be technically this would be kind of a C over G or we could call it if you want to get complex you could call it a G sus four sus six <laughs> so that would be um, uh, three nothing two open one and three and that resolves really nice to the G chord that a million times on a million songs so that's that's a really cool little little uh, trick you can do on a G chord um, now if I want a G2 chord um, I could play play this G and add my first finger down here now again this one has no third so it's three nothing open two three three now if I took off um, if I move this third finger down to the first string and opened up the second string, now I have a now I have a third in there. So that would be three nothing open two open three. Okay, um, let's go back to this chord three nothing open open three three, and we're gonna take the pinky off and go the first finger down here on the second fret, and that's gonna be G major seven. The major seventh is right below the root, one fret below the root. It's a really pretty chord. And then if you want to play a, a dominant seventh or just a G7, when you say G7, uh, the dominant is implied. I remember back in the day, I used to see G, D, O, M, seven written, but it's totally unnecessary. Um, and you can play that by putting your first finger down on the F, first fret, and you could swap out the fingers, but it'd be basically three nothing open open three one and the same thing we could do if we wanted um, a, a, a six chord we could just open that up take the first finger off like that and maybe put our third finger back down or first finger down on the third so it'd be two I'm sorry three two zero zero three open and there's G six so two major seven Okay, and there's there's G6. Now I could also do it with the old school fingering, and now we would have a third in there. And you could even leave the if you wanted to leave that. So it'd be three, two. Let's see, the G major seven would be. Uh, let's let's skip. Not do the second fret on the fifth string. Um, third fret, nothing. Open, open, open two. Seven, and then we go down three nothing open 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 one is G7 and then G6 you could even just do that if you wanted three nothing open 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 okay um, now it gets a little bit more difficult when we go to minor chords uh, because again, we, here we have two thirds. So if we wanted to lower both those thirds, we'd have to go here, and then that open string we can't really go down from. So we have to go here, and you get this, and you got you know, just too many. It's like no, that's not going to work. So um, you could throw in a G, a G minor bar chord, but we're not talking about bar chords. We're talking about the basic open chords. Um, so I'm going to show you one version um, that you could do, and it's basically a four finger version of a G minor chord, um, and it's. Uh, third fret, nothing again. We're still deadening that A string. Open and then three, three, three. You could even maybe do it with a bar like that. Get a second finger and then open three, three, three. Again, deadening that A string. Um, but usually, if I'm going to go to a G minor chord, I might throw the six in there. It depends on what I'm coming from. So the six, is, it makes it a little easier if we add the six. So I'm going to show you a G minor six. 
Third finger, or second finger on the third fret, bottom string, dead in the A. Open D, third fret on the G string, and third fret on the B string, and then open E string. That's a great chord. And here's the great thing about it. Here's G minor six. We're gonna go backwards. Normally we go major seven to seven to six. We're gonna go backwards and come up. G minor six. Here's a G minor seven. Here's G minor, or here's G minor with a major seven. That's a great, beautiful chord. And a lot of times, um, you might do that if you were like in the key of D. And go to the minor four. So I went D to G, to G minor 6, G minor, uh, G minor with a major 7, back to D. Okay, so, um, so let's see, what else? Uh, G minor 2nd, a um, little bit tough to grab that one. Um, But if you want to, you can. Uh, so that would be second, or I'm sorry, third, nothing, open, third, third, and fifth fret. Thank you. That's a toughie. Okay. You could just play like that, uh, but there's no third in that. So it makes it a little difficult to hear. Uh, and again, you can't, it's hard to get that third down here. You can play G minor this way also. Uh, third, first, open, open, and pinky, and then don't play the top string. But again, that third down that low, you almost don't hear it. It's a little muddy sounding. All right, well, that's, a, that's enough for now. Um, I'm going to tackle C chord next. Um, and I've got some more videos coming. Sorry, it's been a while, but uh, just been really busy with all sorts of different things. And uh, we'll talk soon. God bless you guys. I'll talk to you soon.